Hello and welcome to Powwow Yoga. All you're going to need for your practice today is your yoga mat and two blocks. Whenever you're ready, meet me on your mat. Make sure to check out our educational program on intuitive eating after this video. Find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Slowly start to take nice deep inhales and exhales, letting your body relax as you bring your intention to your practice today. Start to bring your inhale and exhale through the nose, letting the belly fill with air as you inhale deflate as you exhale. You can place one hand on your heart and one on your belly to feel the body rise and fall with each breath. On your next inhale, reach the left arm overhead. As you reach to the right side of the room, keep sitting the left sit bone into the heel or into the floor. On your exhale, cartwheel the arms over to the other side. Inhale, reach arm, both arms overhead. And then exhale, work your way into tabletop. From here, we're going to flow through our cat-cow. As you exhale, round the spine and pull the hips and chest towards the belly button. And as you inhale, find length through the body, pressing the belly button towards the floor finding that lower back bend. Moving between these two moves with each breath. As you start to take your next exhale, big arch through the spine. Tuck your toes under and move your sits bones to the sky, coming into your first down dog. Pedal out the feet or twist the hips, whatever feels good for your body today. Keep driving the chest towards the thighs, bending the knees if necessary. On your exhale, take your gaze forward to the fingertips and then step the feet in. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, big reach overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big reach back overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, dive into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way to the sky, finding length through the body. Exhale, fold. Step the feet back into a high plank and gently start to rock the weight forward and back, coming onto the tippy toes and then the balls of the feet, warming up the wrists. The next time you shift the weight forward, Start to move in a circular pattern and then switch directions. Coming back to center, shift the weight forward and sit the hips back into your down dog. On the inhale, reach the right foot up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to elbow, and then glide it down to the wrist. Back up to the elbow, and then three-legged dog. And then do that again. Rounding through the spine as you pull the knee up. Open the hip, circling through the knee or the ankle, whatever feels good for your body. Realign the leg with the hip. Bring the knee back to the elbow. 
Inhale, three-legged dog. Release it back down, dog. Shift the weight into your plank. Lower the chest all the way to the floor and then lift the chest with very little weight in the hands, finding your cobra. And then exhale back, down dog. Inhale the left foot to the sky, three-legged dog. Knee to elbow. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, knee to elbow. Exhale, knee to elbow. Glide the knee down to the wrist. And then three-legged dog. Repeating that one more time. Open the hip and again circle through the ankle or through the knee. Releasing both feet down, down dog. Shift the weight forward again, lowering the chest all the way to the floor, finding your cobra. Exhale, sit back into child's pose, leaving the arms extended, finding length through the upper body. Exhale, back down dog. Inhale, right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to elbow, twisting the leg through coming on to the edge of the left foot. Feel free to lower the foot to the floor or keep it up if you want to go for that challenge. Exhale, three-legged dog. Bringing the knee through, this time taking the foot behind the left, coming into your side plank again. Bring the knee to the chest. Three-legged dog. Exhale, sweep the leg through all the way to pigeon. Find length through the upper body, opening up the hips. Tucking the left toe under, step the right foot back, down dog. Moving into the left side. Shift the weight forward into your plank. This time, chaturanga, come halfway down. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, down dog. Stay here with your breath. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Kick it through. Balance on the edge of the right foot as you come into your side plank. Extend the left leg or lower onto the floor. Bring the leg back through to your three-legged dog. Bring the knee back to the chest, shifting it through, coming on to the edge of the right foot. This time sweeping the left foot behind the right, coming back into that side plank. And then bring the knee back to the chest, coming back into your three-legged dog. Again, moving into pigeon, opening up the hips. Staying with your breath. Tuck the right toe under and send the left leg back down dog. Take the gaze forward, coming into plank again, chaturanga halfway down. Come into your up dog and then exhale down dog. On the next exhale, shift back into your plank and then step the feet into the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Find length through the body. Bring the hands to heart. Inhale, the right leg up and step it back. On the exhale, reach the arms overhead, opening up your hips. On your next exhale, open into warrior two. Keeping the hips and chest open towards the side wall. Exhale back into reverse warrior, finding a big opening through the side body. Bring the arms back to warrior two, straightening out the front leg. Hinge forward as you reach and then fold into triangle. Coming back into warrior two arms, bending that knee. Inhale, reach the back arm overhead, coming back into your high lunge. Bring the hands to heart. Power through the strength of the front leg and come into your warrior three balance pose. 
Bring the feet back together and fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, your left knee to the chest. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale into warrior two, keeping that front knee bent, pushing the knee to the pinky toe. Exhale, cartwheel the arms back into reverse warrior, keeping the legs exactly as they are. Exhale, back warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, reach forward as you hinge from the hips and then fold into your triangle pose. Come back into your warrior two. Inhale, reach the back arm up. Come back to your high lunge. Bring the hands to heart, powering through the front leg, floating the back leg into your balance, warrior three. Exhale, release the feet, step together and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step the feet back to down dog. Keep pressing the chest towards the thighs. Inhale into plank. Exhale, lower the knees to the floor and sit back into child's pose. Leaving the arms extended, finding length through the upper body. Exhale, work your way back into tabletop. Slowly lower onto the forearms, keeping the wrists in line with the elbows. Tuck the toes and drive the sits bones to the ceiling. On the exhale, take your gaze forward and shift the weight into a low plank. Exhale, drive the hips back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back, finding strength through the shoulders. Exhale, sit back into dolphin. Inhale, forward, keeping the core engaged. Exhale, back, lower the knees and sit back into your child's pose, relaxing the shoulders. Staying connected with that breath, lock the hands over to the left corner of the room, keeping the weight sitting back towards the right hip. Big side body stretch through the right side. On the next exhale, walk over to the right side of the room, sitting the hips to the left, finding that side body stretch. Walk the hands back to center. Inhale, round yourself back up to tabletop. Walk the knees forward, crossing the ankles behind you or sending them out to the side to have a seat. Find a seat with one leg in front of the other, not in a crisscross position, but the shin bones lining up. Walk the hands forward as far as you can without the sits bones lifting. And with a nice long spine, fold into it. Slowly work your way back up and reach the hand towards the leg that's in the back and come into a spinal twist. Gazing over the back shoulder, walk it forward and gently switch the legs. Same setup, walk the arms forward, keeping a long spine, folding only as deeply as you can while keeping the sits bones connected with the floor or with your mat. Walk yourself back up, taking the hand to the opposite leg, gazing over the shoulder, coming into a gentle spinal twist. Stacking one leg on top of the other, so knee on ankle, ankle on knee. And if it's uncomfortable and they don't make contact, feel free to place a block between the knee and the ankle so you have something to push into. Gently start to fold forward. Staying up on the hands if that's available to you today, or maybe you start to work onto the forearms. Keeping the sits bones connected with the floor. Opening up the outside of the hips. 
slowly work your way back up and gently switch legs. If you need the block on this side as well, feel free to set it between the ankle and the knee. Slowly walking yourself back out and folding forward. Walking yourself back up. From here, start to straighten the legs out, bending the knees, reaching for the bottom of the feet as you flex the feet. Drape the belly to the inside of the inner thighs and let your head hang heavy. Inhale, reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, letting go of any tension through the lower back. Rising up, extend the legs. Reach your right hand to the outside of the left foot. Gently twist towards the left wall and then pull yourself forward. Opening up the hamstring and opening up the side of the body. Slowly come back to center as we switch sides. Taking the left hand to the outside of the right foot, twisting towards that wall, and then pulling yourself into the forward fold. Still staying connected with your breath. Set one of your blocks to the back of your mat as you work your way into our boat pose. Grab behind the knees and gently start to float the feet so the ankles line up with the knees. It's available to you today, let go of the legs, but if you need to, keep holding. Breathe through, keeping the core nice and strong, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. And on the exhale, lower the legs and the upper body at the same time. On the exhale, hug the knee into the chest. And then gently pull the right knee across the body as you extend the right arm to the right side wall, taking your gaze over to the right fingertips. And then bring everything back to center. Hug the right knee in and then release.
pressing ourselves up into a comfortable seated position. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, sigh down. 